everyone, it's Jenny here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now today's video is a tiny bit different because instead of listening to any Japanese rock acts, I'm listening to more of a K-pop act. Now I don't really listen to an awful lot of K-pop but I know a lot of you guys that follow my channel are also big massive fans of a K-pop group called Dreamcatcher. Now Dreamcatcher is a group that I have been a big massive fan of since 2017 and I've just fallen in love with their fusion of K-pop and rock music to really bring a nice flavour and a nice a nice new thing to listen to in terms of K-pop because I feel K-pop is very over manufactured sometimes so when it comes to Dreamcatcher they really really stand out for me as a group and I absolutely adore their music. Now they've recently just come out with a brand new comeback track called Odd Eye and I haven't done a PV reaction for that song because I instantly fell in love with it and I just wanted to watch the music video straight away so instead of that I wanted to do an album review of their newest mini album Dystopia Road to Utopia it's a seven track mini album, but the first track is the intro and then the last track is the actual instrumental for Odd Eye. So I will be doing a quick album review of all of the songs from this album. Now before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell so you are up to date with all of my video notifications. As well as that, you can also follow me on my socials, Jenny in Tokyo on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, all under the name Jenny in Tokyo. I also have a brand new single being released on the 30th of January called Kawaii Killer. You can buy it physically on JennyHayesIdol.com or you can buy it digitally on JennyHayes.Bandcamp.com or you can listen to it on all streaming platforms from the 30th of January. Now with this album, I really, really enjoyed it. Again, Dreamcatcher have delved into little different genres of music, but they've kept their core sound throughout and I really, really enjoyed listening to the different tracks and the different genres that they delved into. So we start with this album with the intro track. Now with the intro, I think it really, really sets the tone for the new album. It starts off with this very tribal sounding wind instruments, drums, and it really sets the, the tone of, I guess, Dreamcatcher being warriors to fight for their utopia because they have this whole little storyline of the trilogy of the road to utopia and then it kind of delves into a more electronic sound so it really really builds up hype and then suddenly you have this very classic house edm sound that is like full on with the drums and it's just a really really energizing intro for the album and really gets you hyped up for what's to come for the album now the next track is their official comeback song called odd eye and odd eye is just a it, it's classic dream catcher all over again but again they have been improving with their sound they've been advancing exploring new genres but still keeping their core rock sound which i absolutely adore with odd eye again it's got this very heavy guitar with the, with the chorus it's very very catchy it's very empowering and it really really stands out throughout the song but the rest of the song is just as amazing. I really, really love Dami's rap in this, how they play about with the auto tune. But I really, really like as well with the with the drum machine that's used in the bridges to really keep this like catchy beat going and really building really good tension to then kick into the chorus. And the verses are absolutely beautiful as well. All of the girls sound absolutely amazing. I did really, really enjoy listening to Han Dong in this song because she hasn't been with the group for about a year because she did go over to China to do um, a show over there but she's officially back and it's really really nice to listen to Han Dong and again Ju Yon sounds absolutely amazing in this but obviously the standouts for me in this song would have to be Han Dong, Sion, <laughs> I can't pronounce the names properly I do apologise and Sua, their vocals sounded absolutely amazing especially in the choruses and it was just really really nice to listen to and again the line distribution for Dreamcatcher has really, really improved, especially with Odd Eye. So I'm very, very happy to hear all of the girls equally and to stand out in their own way. The next track after Odd Eye is another fantastic hit called Wind Blows. Now, I have seen Dreamcatcher perform this song when they did their showcase for the new album, and I really, really enjoy it. Dami's introduction in this song is absolutely amazing. Again, the chorus is very very outstanding very rock heavy and the chant at the end of the chorus where they're like wind blows wind blows it, it's really really catchy and again with this song they have played around with the drum machine again in this to really build up hype for the song 
The song does start off with a very strong EDM and bass flavour. However, as the song progresses, there is more of a rockier flavour that kind of leaks its way into the song. So then it's building up more and more hype as the song goes on. And it was a very, very catchy song. I really, really loved it. And I think, apart from Odd Eye, I definitely think that this song is one that I will be listening to a lot. The vocals were absolutely phenomenal as well. You cannot deny that Dreamcatcher are absolutely talented with their vocals. But what I liked about this song was how the vocals didn't overpower the drums, but the drums didn't overpower the vocals either. So you've got this really, really nice sound of listening to the girls singing, but I also wanted to tap your feet along to the drums and... I do have to say, I think Wind Blows is definitely a standout track on this album. And if Odd Eye wasn't a title track, I definitely think this would have been the second choice for them to have this as a title track. The next track on this album is a much more mellowed out track called Poison Love. Now, it is a good song to listen to, but it's not as impactful and powerful as Odd Eye and Wind Blows. This song, it has much more of a R&B kind of sound for me and um, again they're playing along with the drum beats and clicks throughout the verses the the vocals in this are very very sultry and I really really like the sound of it and as I was listening to it it definitely reminded me of earlier R&B music and when I was listening to the song as well it did kind of remind me of third gen K-pop it was very old school but I really really liked it um, I have to say, in this song, I think GU and Handong, again, really, really stood out in this for me because their voices are more of a delicate sound, so they really, really suited the sultriness of this song and they really, really stood out for me. Again, Dami's rap verse in this was really, really nice. Her, her tone as she raps really, really suited the sound of this song so well and then complimented with Gaion following afterwards, really made for a really, really good track. Again, this is a song that I wouldn't necessarily listen to all the time, but it's more of a song that I'd kind of like bop my head to and just enjoy listening to it. Um, it's a very, it is a very soothing song to listen to, but it still makes you feel like, wow, I really, really like this song and I really, really enjoy Dreamcatcher. So even though this song doesn't stand out as much as Wind Blows and Odd Eye, I definitely think this is another song that definitely showcases that Dreamcatcher can delve into different genres as a K-pop act. Dreamcatcher then follow up with the next track called For Memory. And this is definitely a typical K-pop sounding song. It's very feminine sounding, very poppy. And I did enjoy the song, but it wasn't my favorite. And um, when it comes to K-pop, I don't really listen to more of the mainstream sounding songs because again, K-pop can be very oversaturated, so sometimes it can be very, very hard to make a song that stands out from the rest. But in this case, I think this definitely showcases how Dreamcatcher can do a mainstream sound and show that they are capable of being just as popular as other mainstream groups. But I think Dreamcatcher are really, really good at sticking with their initial sound. But when it comes to albums, I think tracks like this are really, really good to have a more generic thing to listen to. Again, the girls did sound really, really amazing in this and I really enjoyed the end of the song more with um, Sion's ad-libs in the chorus. She sounded absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I did enjoy listening to this song, but it wasn't really a standout track for me and there wasn't really anything of substance that really, really stood out for this song. Um, other Dreamcatcher fans may absolutely love this song, but just to my taste, because I listen to more rock music, um, this didn't really cater to my tastes, but it was still a nice song to listen to as I was listening through the album. Sadly, we do get to the end of the album, but the album ends fantastically with a lovely pop rock song called New Days. Now, when I listened to this, I could easily insert it into an anime opening. It was really, really nice song to listen to. Um, the instrumentation, it wasn't too over the top. It was just a classic pop rock formula that I really, really enjoyed listening to. Um, again, the vocals weren't too overpowering. I know Dreamcatcher can be very, very amazing with powerful vocals. However, in this song with the chorus, they allowed the music to carry their voices rather than them belting really, really loud and being empowering with their vocals. Um, there's nothing to say that there's anything wrong with their loud vocals, but I think in this sense, more 
stripped back vocals really really suited this song and it wasn't too much the instrumentation throughout the song was absolutely amazing um, and again I definitely think the vocals they weren't too powerful that they were too overpowering and I think it really really complemented the instrumentation of this song that they worked together to make such a fantastic outro song again all of the girls sounded fantastic and I definitely think New Days is a song that I will definitely be listening to because it's got more of a Japanese rock feeling and um, just from what I've listened to in terms of Japanese rock music again I can imagine this song being part of an anime opening and I think it's really really good that Dreamcatcher again can more to different genres and um, reaching out to their Korean audience as well as their Japanese audience now in terms of the full album I really really enjoyed it um, when it comes to Dreamcatcher, you can't do anything wrong. Again, they have done the same kind of formula with their album, where they have a couple of standout rock tracks on the album, um, and then they have other little pop, pop songs trickled in there, just to give it a bit of variety within the album. So they are catering to their core fan base, which love their K-pop mix with rock, but they still do cater to a more mainstream K-pop audience with their more radio friendly songs because I know South Korea rock music is very very niche and it's still kind of an underground thing compared to the pop scene in South Korea so I'm very very happy that Dreamcatcher are able to like bridge that gap as a k-pop group and I'm very very excited to see how the album does I do believe it reached over 40,000 sales in its first day which is absolutely above and beyond what their last two albums sold so I'm very very happy that they are having a fantastic comeback I haven't seen any of the stages yet of Odd Eye or any of the songs off the album so I'm very very excited to see them and I'm praying 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 that they have their first win with this it would be absolutely amazing for Dreamcatcher to end the Utopia trilogy with a win it would be absolutely amazing especially with Handong being back so the girls for the seven can have that win that they have deserved since the start of their careers so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my little album review of dystopia road to utopia what were your favorite songs from the album and if you had to pick another song as a title track apart from odd eye which one would you pick thank you guys so much for watching again if you want to subscribe to my channel click the subscription box down below and click the notification bell to keep up to date with all my future uploads you can also follow me on my socials they're all linked down in the description box below and until i see you in my next video have a fantastic night or day wherever you are and i'll see you guys in my next video